Welcome back to another episode of Dr. Taste Good Barbecue. What I have for you today. Today we're going to be doing up smoked mac and cheese, Pacific Northwest style. Enjoy. Today I'm going to be using two pieces of equipment. For the first part of this cook, I will be using the Blackstone Range Top Combo Side Burners. Smoke this Pacific Northwest Mac and Cheese. I'm going to be using the Yours Y640 Pellet Cooker. Let's get it. Alright, let's get this party started. So I have already got the pasta boiled up, ready to go. We're using capatabi today. And then our secret ingredients, some Dungeness crab, and some Rams barbecue and spices the experience. So first step here, we are going to melt down a stick of butter, and we're going to whisk in some flour and mustard powder. Away we go. Alright, so the next step here, we're going to add two cups of half and half. And you know me, I usually don't measure, but I don't want to screw this up too much. We put one in right now. And we'll go for a second. Then we're going to bring this up to a boil, and then add some cream cheese. Uh, half, a, half a package, so we're talking, what, there, four ounces? Four ounces. In your face. So I actually just busted out my last pair of Grill Beast gloves. R.I.P. Grill Beast. Your legend lives on. What we're going to do now is I'm just, I think it's just easiest if I take the pasta here, pop it here and dump this in and then stir it up. Uh, so that's what we're going to do and then we're going to take the, the sauce and the pasta, put it back in the cast iron, and then we're going to work on our topping and get it over on the odor. Now that's all that's left to do, we're going to melt up some butter here. We're going to add some panko, also the Rims Dry Rub The Experience. And we're just going to coat that there on the top. Here, I'll just bring you back for this here. So we have our Panko. 
to add our melted butter right to that. I'm going with some of Ren's Barbecue and Spices, the experience. Two tablespoons ish. Let's mix that around. And just go sprinkle over the top. Got the Northwest flavors going there. Got the Dungeness crab. Got the Renzi experience. How can you go wrong? A little spoiler alert for those of you who have made it this far. I'm going to use the leftovers of this. Something special tomorrow. There it is. What do you think? I'm good with it. Let's get this over on the odor. Here we are over at the Uter's Y640 pellet cooker. Let me just talk about the setup real quick. I'm using today apple pellets. Putting this top deck, we are set at 225. I'm gonna let this go anywhere from an hour to two hours. We will check it probably a good hour to see how we're doing. You guys wanna take a look see? Of no peak this. Oh yeah, baby. Get you guys in there. Looking good hour in. I'm actually gonna crank the heat up a little bit. I'd like to see it kind of bubbling on the outside. But it's super cold out here. I set it at 225. I think I'll crank it up to about 275 for this last hour, but plenty of smoke on it. Loving it. Time to check out the finished product. Again, got my grilled beast. No longer available gloves. See that bubble on the edge? Fantastic. Smells fantastic. All right, we'll come on back for a taster. Alright, what do you say we test out some mac and cheese? Mmm. I'm definitely getting the sweetness and that great taste from the wrens. I think I overcooked a little bit, so I went for about... Ended up being about two and a half hours or so. I'm thinking somewhere between about an hour and two hours would probably be a little better there because it kind of dried out a little bit. So when I do this again, and trust me, making your own homemade mac and cheese is a pain in the butt. So will I do it again? I'm not sure. But that was a lot of work. That's something they can get actually in a box. Just my opinion from a normal dude in the backyard grilling stuff. Was it worth trying? Yes. Is it something I might do again? Not sure. Always love that Dungeness crab though. So if you like the video, make sure you hit that like button, put a subscribe icon for you. Right there. Another video. Right about there. Hey, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.